So we've got an adventure today. We're going to go see one of our most loyal subscribers. We are in Elizabethton, Tennessee. There's a lot of goats around. You found goats? Yeah, we found goats. We're kind of back there. We should have stopped and taken one. This is a lot hillier than where I grew up. It's a little different than Indiana, isn't it? I'm not even sure what a hill is. <laughs> Well, we can see why Levi has uh, wheel chocks on his wagon. Yes. Yeah. This is a one-lane road, and we've got two-lane trucks going on it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I've seen the flag. No picture. First, let's kind of get a survey of the whole property. How, how far does it go down here this way? All the way to the bottom. Way, you can't even see the bottom. It goes all okay. the way down. I've got a path over here that I take the tractor down and goes down that way. Okay. And it goes out. There's a fence back there, probably, what, 50, 75 feet in that way. Okay. Where our property ends and it goes all the way up to that corner. And then our property goes all the way All away. the way to the road. Wow. Past the road. That's about Past five. The, they, the way they advertised it was five and a half plus or minus. Now is that five and a half vertical or does that count the angles? That's every <laughs> <laughs> See, we don't have to think about the difference of that, you know. Yeah, I, measure, uh... I guess that's <laughs> actual <triangulation>. ground. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably take this five and a half and put it in a three. <laughs> Three acre Three spot. Three flat spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. You're warm. I never thought of it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's 70 feet from here to the top. Wow. Ele elevation wise. Okay. But it's more than 70 from here to there. To get yeah, and, and you mow all of this I mow with your 1026R. Mow this. Now, this right here, you know, after the cut, I don't mow yeah. that. I weed eat that. Yeah. But all this. Just, just, just about just these. all of that. Yeah. No, I can't get can you believe that, Christy? Almost all that. You can tell the one spot he doesn't mow. Well, yeah. yeah. I, yeah I'd be scared to death. There's no way you'd mow that with, no, I, with our tractor. Christy, I'd be thinner if I lived here. I think you would be, yeah. I'd be. I'd be wanting to move the garden. I'd be saying, you take your backhoe You do like me. You learn how to use a tractor to go everywhere. Yeah. But the tractor is... When I mow, the tractor is probably 90% or 95% in full wheel drive. Oh, I would think so. There's where I mow. This is what I just tilled this past fall. I know. And uh, flattened it out. Got some of the bigger stones out of it. Well, it seems to me like this is going to wash away. <laughs> no. No, it won't. It stays up here on the hill. Yeah. Man, if we tilled something, if I tilled up our black dirt like that on that much grade, it would all be down in the street. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Not a big maybe the rocks stop it from doing that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. So this is all going back in the yard. Oh, you're going to put this in the yard then? Yeah. The whole garden? Yeah. So not as much next year? See, we, we didn't use it last didn't year because we year. figured we'll give it a rest. Okay. So we made this one. Okay. And. Now this one does better than this, so now this has been tilled one time and I think I dissed it after that. Just to tighten the ground up. Yeah, this kind of packs a little bit. You told me that you it. So you go to the fence back there? Yeah. I think that's I've seen some pictures bit. along the fence row. Yeah, that's what we you cleaned doing. it up, right? Yeah. The tree that I cut down that last one we had was way out there. I still got a stump about this big. Okay, and so you go all the way to the point down there to the yeah, road. All the way to the road. Yeah. Levi, this is a beautiful property and beautiful view. Wow, yeah. yeah, a lot of the pictures I take put on yeah. that I post. Yeah. I'm sitting up there yeah. and so take that picture or I'll be over here. Oh, take, there's like five ranges of mountains wow. going that way. Wow. <laughs> this is this is stunning. I've got, see the trees that are just about blocking that old barn? Mm -hmm. We first moved here, you can see the whole barn. Okay. 
And now in the summertime, you can't even see it. The leaves got it covered. And I've got pictures of that in all four seasons. Yeah. I just haven't posted it. See, when we had that garden, we needed one that was a little better, longer, or more of it. So we planted this one. And you've this leveled one, this out a little bit, I can yeah. see. This one started here and went to there. And that was our garden. Well, then it keeps washing down from up there. And it, up there is, is a lot drier. All the moisture is down yeah, here. Yeah. So we quit using that and I transplanted. Remember the wild black raspberries on that first. first one? And these other three are black raspberries. Uh -huh. And then we had transplanted our strawberries from down there over there up here then this past year or this year we transplanted them from here to over there and now i've so i've smoothed this out and i smoothed this out and it's all going back in the yard that soil up there looks quite red more clay it's not going to grow as good as this darker no. soil because no. all the moisture comes down too yeah there's our oak tree. See the size of that stone? That was a huge tree. Lightning hit it, split that sucker right down the middle from the top to the bottom. Wow. That was his favorite tree. I bet it stood for years even after that though. Or did you cut it, it down soon? It stood for I think five years after that. The other side, that side of it died. This side of it still had, but it had big logs, limbs on it, you know, this big yeah. round. It was going to fall. And I, I have to mow, and I keep yeah. watching it. You know, every time I go to mow, I keep watching to see if it's going to fall. This is beautiful. Yeah, I love it. I know I can't do this, you know, the rest of my life, but I can do it for a while. Though. You watch a bunch of YouTube videos. So, outside of Tractor Time with Tim, what is your favorite video channel? The Same. ones that I go on, uh, One Lonely Farmer, I do yeah. him automatically because he's always working on, or most of the time, he's working on something. He's a farmer yeah. in New Jersey. Yeah. So when he redoes tractors, his own tractors, yeah, I'm talking big tractors. He's got some B780 or 720 John Deere's. It's all pretty much John Deere. Right now he's working on a farm Amp, uh -huh. Super Amp. And I like, I enjoy that. Yeah. You know, see what they're doing. Yeah. And uh, he, he's automatic and Paul Short yep. is automatic. Yeah. Because I, I learn. Yeah. And then if you're on there, if it comes up that you've got one, it's automatic. Yeah. But them are pretty much the, well, well 738, I think is, is it 758? But he doesn't get on there all that much anymore either. I used to watch him all the time, but. You know, he used to put out some. He's got a seven, what is it, 748, 758? Paul Short, he's a, he's brilliant, and oh, he can, he can create anything, and, uh... Yeah, he makes stuff, and still, you can't buy the part anymore, so he'll make it. Yeah, uh, he's amazing. Uh, you know, that yeah. kind of talent, I mean, it, yeah. it really is I've told him, I thought, I'd love to live beside you. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> you think that your tractor's modded? <laughs> it's fun stuff. Yeah, he's got a mod every time, and you think, oh, my goodness. Well, i tell you what, them Kenny's hooks... They're very yeah. cost effective and they're yeah. very nice. You talk, I tried it. All that, that well, you've seen the fence line. Mm -hmm. The vines mm -hmm. were all the way to the top of the trees. Yeah. And I just wrapped that chain around it, hooked it to that, and just started backing up. Just pulled them out. Just pulled them right out. Oh, man. Hey, Levi, it's been great to have you on Tractor Time with Tim today. It's been good being with you. And uh, I'm sure the viewers will really enjoy. Uh, just kind of getting to know one of our subscribers a little bit, especially especially uh, one that comments on every video we've had. I think you've commented on every single video, and and uh, our friends on Green Tractor Talk, uh, you're one of the regulars there. Just to, yeah. just it's it's been incredible to get to know you. So thanks for joining us, and the rest of you, take a moment to press the thumbs up button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Thanks for coming.